Costco size jar vessel. Ladies and gentlemen, as the chef Garrett attempts to divulge what is the favorite lubricant in this room, <laughs> we refer it to the good news, the bad news, and the other and the shit, shit, the shit, 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 shit stuff. <laughs> okay. You know, we had trouble with our publishing, but that's okay because I'm going to show you the news. I know you're interested in the news and see my visual aids. I could have many of visual aids. If you want to see some of my visual aids, you can go to marlhemsley.tumblr.com. So I have the good news, the bad news, and the other shit. Well, first, some of the good news. So it turns out Cosmopolitan Magazine has got a whole new spread coming out. Nicki Minaj, you know how much I love me some Nicki. Just a little bit, little shorty, little kitty. <laughs> she's coming out. So she's waxing patriotic here. So take a look. So go take a look. She has a lot of sex talk, and she talks about how she demands an orgasm. That's why I keep a box full. Ten jackrabbits. <laughs> I throw Sometime it over there. that doesn't work. I say, well, you, that ain't working. I know. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> if you can't come from You got to work yourself. I don't know. You know, it won't hurt my back. It's hard <laughs> Work up a sweat. You know, I got to, you know. Mm. Anyway, but Nicki Minaj on the cover, Cosmopolitan. So that's part of the good news. Can't hold on to a record. I'm happy with this good news. A lot of good news. And here's another good way. I, I, I can't keep my applause <laughs> readily available. because <laughs> I'm sending that out to Caitlin. Yeah, the, the former Bruce Jenner. The former, let's go, you got to go see these pictures. If you're going to... If you're going to switch to a womanhood, you got to at least try to, you know, go for a style or a look that yeah. might get you. Because I was thinking about this because you it's not funny. there's some things that are not funny. But remember, gender and sexuality are actually separate and distinct. That's what people don't understand. So you could be a male who likes men or a male who likes women or you could be a woman who likes men or a woman likes women. Right. This would put he now has to find a lesbian who likes women who were formerly men. <laughs> I just think, I'm just saying, it's hard. See what I'm saying? Because he needs a lesbian, right? A woman who likes, a, he's a woman. No, so he, he's, a, he's woman. a woman, he'll probably want men. No, no, he already has, remember, that's why I just said gender, which is whether you're male or female, and your sexuality are separate. He's already shown you what he's like because he's been with women all his life. Yeah, but maybe he was fighting it. Well, I'm he'd just, rather be a, a full-fledged well, no, no, woman. See, this, well, and, well, see, actually, that's why that's why I want to have this discussion with you guys because a lot of you not, never think of it, but it's very clinically common. Mm. In other words, his sexuality did not change with that's the surgery. Interesting. That's interesting. He likes women. That's interesting. He likes to have mm-hmm. sex with women. Okay. Now, I bet if you go back and talk to the women about what they did, you might find some consistencies. But I'm saying he likes to have sex with women. He wasn't a man who was having homosexual affairs. Okay. So now he's going to continue to like women the same. His sex, all of that should be the same. That's interesting. Okay. okay. But his gender has changed. So, like you so said, now you what like he lesbians. represents to them, right? Because the people <laughs> who want to screw him have changed, right? right? The ones he wants to screw are the same. Okay. But the ones that want to screw him have changed. So I just wanted to bring this up because people find it confusing. I think it is confusing for a lot of obvious reasons because they never think about it. But that allows you to start to understand the science and what people have already observed. You have to kind of get it in your mind that your sexuality and your gender are two different things Mm -hmm. and that we think that they're probably both determined genetically, but they are separate. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's just like... Women don't have to be short because they're women. Right. And the other thing that's amazing, when you look at children, a lot of people will think that, us, for example, that the kids are tall because their dad was this height. And or they'll wonder, why are the kids so tall and their father's not that tall? Because their mother's six feet. Right. See, they don't think that the men child get things from their mother right. because you have this right. in genes too. So they always attribute them for the same sex. So this one, I want you to take a look and everybody can see what they think. Call me Kate. So what do you think, Victor? Oh, I, I, I think uh, he's, he's living the dream. I mean, she's living. I mean, he's. 
Well, I want them to happy, be happy. So that's the good news. I got another good news, okay? It looks like this biracial Miss Japan is hanging in there. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. You had her like four weeks ago. Well, you know what? They try to use good. polite terms. They go, oh, the country of Jama Japan is so homogeneous. You mean racist? <laughs> homogeneous. You mean racist. Right. Homogeneous like the Aryan nation of Nazi Germany was homogeneous? That's right. What homogeneous, oh, what homogeneous whatever, genuity are we talking here? <laughs> okay, whatever. And because, you know what, no offense, this is the wonderful example of media bias where they don't like to call the things that they're used to racist. Right. It is racism. But you. But notice how they couldn't say that. They had to say, oh, they, she comes from a society's homogeneous. She didn't say she comes from a society that where they actually kind of despise mixed people. <laughs> that would sound different and it's interesting because even though I don't think Japan is different from any other place they aren't to me I think every place has the biases it's interesting what makes it interesting is when you look at the Japanese in the United States as one of the most assimilated cultures in America they mostly marry in the United States I think the last statistics yeah. I read 85% of Japanese Americans marry non-Japanese right they are the right. most assimilated minority in the United States. So it's interesting back over there. Now, I must admit, she looked kind of good to me. Yeah. <laughs> Ariana Miyamoto. Well, I wonder if she talks she and is. she's like, I wonder if she talks all soft. Hello, Mario son. Mario, would you like <laughs> Look to Look what ask? she said, Mario. Oh, she said, the reporters always ask me what part of you is most like a Japanese. She said, I am, I always answer, but I am Japanese. She said, well, the bottom I'd say, of see, I'd say, it's, it's because like, see how the racism sneaks right. in, even from us. Right. Our own versions. That's why I said, I'm not indicting anybody because we all have racial issues with these kinds of things, if you're honest. And so I'm just pointing out the ongoing. So that's the good news, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's see now. I got to get to the bad news. We got some bad news today. Get some bad, bad. bad. Okay, first of all, this one is kind of hard because I hate to, and I don't want to make light of things, but sometimes it seems so ill. Obvious. Well, this one, American <laughs> tourists driving to a South African park, a wildlife park, where they tell you to keep your windows down. Well, she kept her keep your windows up. They have signs, keep your windows up, you're driving through the lions. Well, some people, they want to get close to the lions. They feel close to the animals. They want to get close to the nature. And so they always have people who go through and drive, put their windows down because they feel like they're safe and they can bond with the wild creatures who mm -hmm. may be used to having humans around them, but at any given moment, they're still, wild animals. Right, yeah. they're wild animals. So an American tourist, Thought she was a lion uh, the animal, her. pretty much the lion reached through the window and bit her and chewed her up. Oh. And actually there was another injury for someone else trying to help her. A second tourist suffered serious injuries trying to save him. He was sitting in the back seat of the car. They had the same thing happen from an Australian tourist. So every now and then people, I always wondered about that. If someone's driving through the wild animal park and they decide to get out. Like say that day you take your crazy cousin to the wild animal park because you have a total lapse in judgment. And you don't realize that your crazy cousin has not taken her meds. Okay, or better still, let's say she's taken her meds but she's decided to down two or three beers on top of them. So when you get to the wild animal park, mm -hmm. your crazy cousin has already started to pull off her halter top <laughs> And some of the other things because she's feeling kind of hot mm. and steamy. Somehow he's going to blame Now, this you start story. about this time, you're starting to think it was a total lapse in judgment to have taken your crazy cousin <laughs> to the theme park in the first damn place. But needless to say, you're there with your cousin and your girlfriend. You haven't been getting too long too well with her either. But nonetheless, your crazy cousin jumps out to the car, and even though you're hoping that your girlfriend would maybe chase her, <laughs> oh yeah, right. <laughs> you feel compelled somehow to try to rescue your crazy cousin from the animal park, <laughs> only to have a hyena bite you in the ass. <laughs> That's bad. Now, since it's only a flesh wound, they get it, you just have to go to the hospital. But you have to then endure the indignity of all your male friends calling you <laughs> hyena ass. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> but anyway, so anyway, we won't make fun of this, but we're just saying, no, if yeah, you drive to an animal park with the lions, 
That nature shit will kill you. That's why, as a dazzling urbanite, I keep myself on Crenshaw. <laughs> that's your excuse for not going anywhere. You, I, I, well, that's, first of all, I don't know. There's something about the melanin in the skin that keeps melon people with melanin away from that type of thing. You saying that I, black I, folks don't go to the it. jungle? No, they don't get out. White the folks they don't in. leave the um, windows down. That's what Richard Pryor said. They don't go to the zoo and reach in to touch the monkeys. You know, they don't do any of that crazy stuff. Well, see I don't what I'm know. saying. You know well, how about this one? I think this is really a wonderful story. As part of an ongoing program to evaluate the effectiveness of our air traffic, of our air ports and the security. Oh, Lord, that is a bad one. Yeah, they had undercover agents try to sneak fake explosives and weaponry onto planes. And they got it. Uh, what happened was they actually managed to do it 67 out of 70 times. So in that the airports failed a whopping 96% of the times. Out of 70 attempts, they were able to get the faked explosives, uh, all of that, 70, 67. One time the guy who's carrying the fake bomb, the alarms went off on him, and they checked him, and he still got through with the fake bomb. <laughs> That really makes you want to I fly, tell you, doesn't it? I wow. tell you. Not good. Not That's good what everybody all. know. Not good at That's all. A, I said good, bad news. That's and, the bad news. And then, sure. um, then the other shit. Mm. So I wow. thought you guys might think that that was kind of bad. Yeah, that's bad. I don't know the. No, I don't know if we did this. Did we, which, I can't remember what we did. Which we, we did. Did we do the one about the police with the picture? Yes, we did. Yeah, Michelle. Not, not, not on this. Maybe uh, Could we did they did on the other show. I'm not not the at not the attack robots. Okay, here's a picture of these take a picture. So the police arrest his brother and I guess in order for him for them to he made a deal that to pose to this picture where he wears the antlers. What? He's wearing the antlers on his head and the the police are posing with him and I guess because of this they were gonna be nicer to him. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Chicago police, and I'm department. sure he's an idiot anyway too. I'm sure he's an idiot. But there you go. Mm. So that's other shit. That's part of the other shit. Mm. That's some crazy shit. Yeah, it's true. Um, I don't know if I did. Did I show this last yeah, week? Yes, you did. Okay, because I keep and coming the week back. Before, I keep, <laughs> and the week before I keep coming back to this. I try to understand. I just stays there. I understand. I wouldn't myself. I. <laughs> Okay, I just <laughs> all right, but I just want you guys to be aware of those things. Okay, <laughs> okay, um, Michelle, I put this up as a public service announcement too. If you want to remember, go to marlohemsley.tumblr.com. But it keeps coming up, so we put up a public service announcement of this wonderful sheet that came out that shows you the three types of the major cannabis species: sativa, indica or uh, ruderalis, and the various pharmacologic psychotropic effects of those Canada. As Mac has indicated, he's afraid to go smoke marijuana because he thinks he's going to end up eating a 50-pound bag of Oreos. <laughs> and I go, Mac, or how about a 25-pound bag of jujubes? You got to leave Mac alone. Or a 10-pound bag of Nutter Butters. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway... What they just so you know, Michelle, we announced that they are actually working now on strains of marijuana that do not give you the munchies whatsoever. But the new dietary. Smoke that? That's almost like GMOs to me. I mean, do you want to smoke something? Because it's genetically. Manu yes. Well, they're not. Modified. They're not modifying the DNA. They're doing it a good old-fashioned way. How's that? Through plant sex. So they're crossing it. Yeah, you know, the good old way. You know, the good old way of mixing those genes, the mm. way God intended. <laughs> a sharing of the body fluids, allowing <laughs> us to come together as a species, all you Malaysians. I love you too. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. All right, you guys. We're going to come. We'll be right back. I want you to know that's been, I told you, it's been the good news. That was the good news. The button and then ding dong. 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 Ding d